So Bruce Lee awakens and goes forth out into the darkness. Watches this guy, this cart with four horses, barreling through the village. And he sees this hand just hanging out of the bottom. He's like, hmm. Definitely uh, not a good sign in the middle of the night. And uh, under the cover of darkness. So he goes back, and he rouses the the innkeeper, Oscar, he goes, hey, remember that, remember that guy that came through? Hemdal? Remember that cart? Oscar's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, well, it just rode by the, the tavern, and they were in a, they were in a big hurry. Just one person driving that that cart. And that was the chest full of gold. And there was a hand dangling out of the back of it. Oscar's like, Ooh, what's going on? Ooh, oh, he gets up. Oh, all right, we gotta we gotta look into this matter. We gotta look into this matter. And uh he rouses rouses him, some of his sons and he tells them to wake up some of the other villagers and, and, and townspeople and they, they all wake it up and you know, in the middle of the night everybody's kind of like what's going on why why what it's like something's going down something's happening something is something is wrong something's amiss and uh, they, they all kind of you know, we should go up there we should we should go up to gunners and, uh, Bruce what, what are you going to do? He's like, you should come with us. He's like, I'm going to follow the gold. <laughs> See where that goes. He's like, would you take a horse? Take a horse. Like, Bruce is like, I've never really rode in a horse. He's like, it's fine, it's fine. This is one of the finest horses. And you just tell it what to do, and it'll do it. It's a good horse. And, you know, the Oscar and, and everyone, and... They, 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 they take him back to the stables and they show him this beautiful, beautiful, big horse. And this horse is a beautiful black horse. And, uh, and uh, Oscar says, This is Slepnira, one of our finest horses. Never gets tired, great endurance, and very smart. And you tell it what to do, and it, it'll, it'll take you, it's not going to buck you off. And, and, uh, It'll, it'll take you where you need to go. And uh, you'll find that gold, I'm sure. Bruce is like, okay, not much on horses. And so they, <laughs> Bruce goes to get on top of the horse and, you know, the horse kind of, kind of lets him get on, you know. As soon as the, as soon as Bruce gets on the horse, the horse is like, <laughs> he's ready to go. And, uh, Whoa! And Oscar looks at uh, Slepnera, the horse, and uh, says, Take Bruce and follow that goat. And the horse goes, and takes off. And Bruce is like, Oh, wow! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, slow down, slow down, slow down! Horse kind of slows down. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Speed up! And horse takes off. So in the middle of the night, Bruce is on this horse, barreling out until he can catch sight of, of the gold. And he, this guy, the, the Skelpti, is, is, is driving these horses and uh, driving these horses just, just full gallop. You know, the, the, the cart is bumping around and, and he's trying to get out of town as fast as he can. Uh, and they're, they're going... Bruce is staying back a little bit. He he can see and he can hear, and he, he tells the horse, "Slow down, slow down, slow down. Just relax." You know, on a straightaway, you can see him. And he knows where the guy's going. Big plume of dust coming up. Kind of hard, not you know, kind of hard to hide something like that. So 
even in the dead of night. And they pass by the the old crow and her and her mud hut. Fire still going, and she's sitting there at the fire, talking this gibberish and uh, casting spells and whatever she's doing, you know, drinking from this brew. <laughs> and uh, she's sitting there, and they, she sees the horse, <laughs> the the cart with four horses on it, and this one man, and you know, she recognizes the man with one hand, and she goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> she's cackling and laughing and she knows what happened she knows exactly what happened mr the deceitful hand you know sculpty has come to reclaim his gold reclaim his hand which is in the brew on the gold so she's laughing hysterically you know after this 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 thing passes Sculpty passes by at full gallop, full, full gallop with four horses in this gold, and she smells blood. She smells it, and she knows that there's death in the air. And after a little while, Bruce comes trotting by on his horse. Looks at the old crow. <laughs> goes by. You know, old Crow looks at Bruce, wild-eyed, and what the? <laughs> Who is this being? And uh, she is, she's intrigued. So she rouses up, and goes in the town. So, villagers, kind of, they're at, they're back at the Back at the hill, they're all looking out, dead of night, trying to see everything. They see some fires. Everything looks good. Everything looks fine. You know, but they know that something's wrong, so they're watching and waiting. And not long after that, the sun rises. And uh, everybody starts to rouse up and wake up. And, you know. Old man Himdal is, is is sitting there. He, he wakes up and he, he finds that all his all his sons are are passed out still, exhausted and, and everything. And uh, he's like, okay, all right, <laughs> time for the fun to begin. He goes inside, sees it. Old man Gunner and. And, and, and all his family are they're getting ready to, to start a breakfast and, and and start the day and his sons are are up and roused and, and you know his daughters are, and wives are working and you know preparing food for everyone and and, and Gunner is talking to his sons that we need to get we need to get this much hay and we got to get this much cow and we got to get got to get everything together put this thing put this put this package together to get it out the door out the gates for uh, for him doll. And uh, you know it's going to be a while. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of work, but we're going to do it and we're going to make it happen. And you know, just you know, eat hearty, eat hearty, sons, and uh, make sure that these guys get fed. And uh, Hemdal comes in. And, <sighs> good morning, good morning. Golmurgen, Golmurgen, I think it is. Yeah, uh, and so. They they enjoy a breakfast together and and and, and uh, Hemdal is is eating. His sons begin to rouse and and they're they're getting themselves together. And, oh, oh, necks are sore from wearing all this armor. And <coughs> the daughters are waking up and adjusting themselves. You know, you know, sleeping all night and too much meat. And, too much food, and they wake up a little late. They're they're slow to wake up, you know. They've been, they're exhausted. They've they've been at it for a while, you know, two three days straight travel, providing security and, and, and going through the going through the wilderness and dealing with everything. So they're they're they they welcome a, a late morning. So Himdal finishes his breakfast and 
looks at old man Gunner and says, Do you care to take possession of your gold? You know, finalize this deal so we can go about our way. Old man Gunner is like, yep, after breakfast, absolutely. <clears throat> they finish their breakfast and Hemdall stays in the house. He's, he's, he's taking his time and enjoying the breakfast. And, and, uh, old man Gunner and, and his sons go outside and they go out to the gold. And they get there, there's no gold. There's no sons. Where were his sons? Where were the guards? He sees blood on the ground. It's like something happened here. It's like, surely my sons are not deceitful. My sons are not deceitful. They don't have an arger amongst them. No. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe that my sons took the gold and ran away. They have all they need. We are, we are wealthy and prosperous, and, and my sons are honorable men, and they would never do something like that to me, ever. Especially the two that I threw out here. And tasked them with the, with, with, with the job, the task at hand. They, they would have never, ever been deceitful in that way. And he notices there's blood on the ground, and that concerns him. So... After a while, and they're sitting there, and he sends for more sons to come out. You know, and more sons come out of the house. They go into the house, and they say, yeah, 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 let's go. And uh, they go outside, and, and Himdal is like, what's going on here? They, it, it's happening. All right, yeah. It's time for me to <laughs> watch everybody die and take this cow. <laughs> and, uh. He gets out there and he sees everybody standing around. He gets to the crowd, goes to the crowd of sons, and you know by this time his sons are, are rousing and, and kind of looking over and what's going on. And uh, he he sees that the gold is gone. And so are his sons, you know, old old man Gunner's sons. He's like, "How dare you! Your deceitful sons have stolen the gold." <laughs> his plan didn't work. His plan was for old man Gunner to take possession with his sons and they all die. And he takes, he takes the golden cow with little, little resistance. You know, that was his plan. Uh, so, but he sees that the two sons are gone and he sees blood. So he, he figures that his sons, that old man Gunner's sons had taken the gold. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Nobody knows at this point. So he goes back to his, his son. Hemdog goes back to back inside the, the courtyard and arouses his son. Says, get up, get up. Let's go, let's go. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get our get our cattle and we gotta go. That's we're out of here. You know. Fuck. <laughs> Plans went to shit. Because of his two deceitful sons. You know. He gets everybody up and and, and everybody's like Where's Sculpty? Sculpty. Sculpty. Where's Sculpty? And that's when it dawns on him, doll. Damn. My deceitful son has tricked me and stole the gold. Doesn't matter. So as as a uh, He, he knows that this is not going to be good. So he rouses all his men and tells them, get ready. We, we might have to fight our way out of here. <sighs> you know. And sure enough, old man Gunner, you know, comes back in. And he goes, you deceitful bastard. You, you killed my sons. And you ran off with the gold. Ah! You know. Something's going on. You know, this is not good. Our deal is, is final. Our, the, the deal is null and void. You best leave now or we're going to kill you all. And, you know, Himdal is like, no, 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 no. The deal is final. Your sons are the ones that, that stole the gold, not mine. You know, 
you took possession of the gold, even though it's your son and your family. I require my 100 head of cattle, and we're out of here. That was the deal. And a deal is a deal. You don't, you don't renege on a deal. You don't try to figure out a way to get out of the deal. This, you know, old man Gunner's like, yeah, well, kind of right. Kind of looks that way. You know, I, I don't know. It's, it appears that my two sons are, are missing. My two sons that are guarding the gold are missing. All right. But I, I what, what about this blood? You know, like, where are your men? You're like, they're all here. They're all, they're all here. Sculptor's missing. Shut up. <laughs> so, you know, like, something's not right. And by this time, the villagers on top of the hill, they, you know, what's going on? What's going on? You know, they're fighting. They're fighting. Let's get down there. Let's get down there. And they get all, everybody gets down there and they're, ah, you know, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? And Himdall says, because of all of this, I demand the golden cow. And I'm going to take that golden cow. And Gunner's like, no, you're not. No, no, no. You can have the hundred cattle. That's it. Nothing else. So they're arguing and arguing. And, and the villagers are, are going on the old man Gunner's side. And they've got their pitchforks. And you know, they've got their swords. And, you know, and, they're, and, they're, and, and their torches. And, you're not taking our cow. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's our, our golden cow. And, you know, and the men are getting... Hemdall's men are getting anxious, and they're like, oh, shit, you know. <laughs> Grab your sword and spear, gents, let's go to war. And uh, finally, the old sea there comes walking up. Goes, <laughs> and everybody's like, shut up, old crow. This doesn't concern you. And the old crow's like, oh, but yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Last night in the middle of the night, in the dead of night, oh, Hemdal himself come to see me with his son, Skelpti. Yes. And he wanted me to curse the gold for whoever took possession of it. <laughs> Guess who took possession of it? The one-armed Skelpti. <laughs> and everybody's like, what? <laughs> Gunner himself is like, Really? Is that right? And, you know, Himdall's like, fuck, the gig is up. He's like, ah, my deceitful son, my deceitful son. Uh, how can I atone for this, uh, my deceitful son? You know, and so they, they, they say, well, we should go after him. And the villagers say, well, Bruce is following him right now. And, uh, you know, the sea there says, I seen Skulpty riding off in the middle of the night with the gold. <laughs> Your deceit has bred deceit. Deceit begets, begets deceit. <laughs> you're like, okay, all right, all right. Oh, that sucks. So, all of, all of Gunner's men and all of Hemdall's men... And all the villagers all go forth and go to follow this, this Skopti riding away with the gold, with Bruce following him. So, we go back to Skopti. Skopti has been riding these horses hard. Not letting up. Soon, on down the road, the two horses, two horses just collapse. It's like, oh, damn it. I pushed them too hard. One has a broken leg and one is just dead. And it stops, the, stops everything. It's like, fuck, what am I going to do? Well, I have no other choice. Like, I got I to gotta get rid of these two horses. And I got to carry on down the road. I'm far enough away. Rode through the night. And most of the morning. You know. Rode through the night. And most of the sunrise. I'm miles away from these guys. I'm going to go home. And, and Sculpty just keeps thinking. That's, you know, with his one hand. He's like. Ah. 
Ah, my father, my father. Oh, fuck him so much. Fuck. Fuck him. I'll show him. I'll go back home and, and, and build my own freaking dynasty. And, and have all the cows and all the women and all the drink and da 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 da, da You know. But he, he, he has to get this gold away and clear and, 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 and secured. So he drops the two horses. One is dead. And uh, one is, is, is just can't walk anymore. About, you know, broken leg. And so he, he drops them off on the trail. You know, it keeps going. Slow going. The two horses, uh, he, he's a little bit slower now. The two horses are are, are are taking their taking their time, and uh, he's like the weight is just too much. I got to drop weight, so he takes the two sons, the two dead sons, and he, he throws them off into the bush uh, on the trail, and that that kind of helps out a little bit. He starts throwing off other things, not essential items, and uh, you know some food, some water. He just keeps just enough for himself. Which he, he thinks that, that, that he's going to get to his destination. He's going to be fine. You know, he's just got to get out of there and get going. Get to his destination. So he does this. He keeps going down the, down the trail. Down the road. And uh, sure enough, Bruce Lee is you know, trotting right behind him. Mile, you know, almost a mile away. He can, he can see him. And uh, Slep, Slepnira is, uh, is, is hot on the trail. And uh, she's not showing, showing any signs of, of fatigue or, or anything. And, and Bruce has been taking it easy. You know, he, he, they'll gallop some and they'll stop and, and rest and you know, stay out of sight. Just within sight. Uh, you know, scope, just so that when Sculpty looks back, he doesn't see anything. Uh, doesn't notice this and you know they've just been on a steady pace and uh, sure enough Bruce and, and the horse come up come upon a horse that's just kind of laying there it's got his leg you know messed up you know and the horse greets the horse and they they nuzzle and, and everything and the horse stops and refuses to go anywhere and goes <laughs> You know, Bruce is like, oh, really? This horse broke its leg, and you know, I smell, I smell blood. Something else happened here. And uh, he gets off the horse, and the horse goes over, and he's, the horse is trying to console the other horse, and then the horse goes over to the dead horse and shows Bruce, <laughs> right here. There's a dead horse. Bruce is like, ah, and this guy is, he's running these horses dead. He's running them down. And, uh, he goes over to the, uh, to the, to the down horse with the broken leg and he's, he's rubbing the horse. He, 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 he takes a, he takes, he takes some bridle. He takes the bridle off the horse. You know, that's, it still has his bridle on he takes the leather straps, he takes some sticks, and he ties them up onto the leg, making a little stint for the horse. Um, hopefully that uh, that'll help him out. Um, and he, he sees that, uh, he sees the plant of his tea. He takes some of that, takes the leaves, kind of breaks them up, slaps it on the, on the, uh, on the wound, the horse is like, rrr, rrr. feels much better now. You know, you can tell the horse is kind of, yeah, yeah. And the horse kind of stands up and is limping around on this on this leg and starts to eat some food and eat some grass. And uh, uh, Slepnir goes, rrr, rrr. you know, basically, let's go. You know? <laughs> Bruce is like, yep, okay. All right, let's follow this guy. He's dropping horses now. Uh, so we'll we'll catch him soon enough. Um, so off off down the road they go, and sure enough, you know, Slepnir, Slepnir goes <laughs> walks over to the dead bodies in the on the trail, and sure enough, Bruce is like, "Yep, those are you know, those are two dead bodies. Yep, 
Oh shit, that's the hand I seen. And on down the trail he goes. So, at this time, Skelty is, is far, far away, so he thinks, from anyone and anything. Uh, Bruce is only like a mile behind, and he's, he's keeping up. Uh, he can see the trail, he can see the, the fresh marks in the, in, in the dirt, uh, and the horses, and the blood. There's, there seems to be a little blood trail going on here. So, and Slipniera is, is, is a keen to, to, to point that out. So, they get on down the way, and it looks familiar to Bruce. It looks familiar. There's a little outcropping off to the right, or off to the left, uh, and that's there's a little stream there. He he remembers hearing this little this little babbling stream over here by this outcropping. He's like, yeah, because he thought about it. You know that that'd be a good place to shelter if it started raining or something. Uh, you know, and it seems like everybody goes there anyway because there's some there's an old old fire fire pit there. Uh, this is where Sculpty goes. Sculpty has been running those horses just all night. And so he figures, it's been long enough, I've, I'm far, far away enough, and I'm, I'm, I, I have this long stretch of, of wilderness I've got to go through, and I've, I've, got to, I've got to take a break, and I've got to, I've got to feed and water the horses and, and calm down. So he, uh, he goes under the outcropping and unhitches the, uh, the cart with all the gold, and he, he leads the, the horses over and ties them up next to the water, wet next to the brook. There's grass, you know, they can eat, and they can drink, and they can relax. And, and, and he, he, he sculpted, he just, uh, oh, my plan is coming, to, coming, coming together. And soon I'm going to get home and uh, be, be king of the land, so to speak. And uh, he, he sets down and... Got this big old chest, and he starts trying to figure out. He breaks the breaks the locks with a rock, and <sighs> opens up the gold. And he's like, "Wow, the gold is gold, all of it, all of it, just hundreds of thousands of pieces of gold, just wow, massive chest." He takes it. Ah, <laughs> it is mine. It is mine. He's throwing it up in the air, and he's he's looking at it, and you know. Things start to get a little cloudy. He's like, oh, oh I've been going all night. I'm tired. Oh, I, must, uh, I, I think I'm still groggy. Oh, he gets very, very lethargic and just, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. He's, he's struggling. He's got this gold in his hand. He's struggling. Oh. And he, he leans back against the rock wall. And he's, oh, he's got this hand full, both hands full of gold that he refuses to let go of. And he's sitting there. He knows he's dying. He knows he's dying. And uh, he sees off in the distance where the road is this beautiful black black horse and uh, this, this man on it just trotting up. And it's Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is looking around. He hears the horses by the water, by the stream. He takes his horse off to the to the stream, and with the other three horses, you know, with the other two horses, he, he lets Slipnera, you know, hang out with the other horses. She you know, she likes horses, you know, likes her own own kind, you know. And she talks to them, and she, you know, hangs out with them, and she finds out everything that's going on. And you know, she's drinking water and, and hanging out with the horses. And Bruce sees the outcropping, sees this guy just laying there, you know, with all this gold. Sees the big gold chest. He's like, "I found it, and there it is." And he walks up cautiously. Goes, "You there?" <laughs> Are you dead yet? Are you okay? He's like, you, you stole this gold, didn't you? Sculpty's sitting there, hands full of gold. It's mine. It's mine. 
It's my gold. You'll never get it. You'll never get it. It's mine. It's mine. And he dies right there. Bruce is like, damn. <laughs> wow, this guy, you don't know why why this guy died. Doesn't know how. Maybe he was poisoned. Yeah. Oh, I said both hands full of gold. No, just one. <laughs> just one handful of gold. <laughs> he's covered in gold. He's, he's been hanging on to this gold. Uh, yeah. Both hands full of gold. He, he lost a hand. Bruce ugh, smells it's awful, awful, pungent smell. Just disgusting. Smells like rotten eggs and dead fish and you know, something else. He's, he's like something's on something's up here. I don't like this smell. And uh he backs away. You know, he's just hanging out. And uh he figures, alright, well. I guess it's time to go back, go back and tell somebody at the village, you know, what's going on. And so he, he bridles back up, uh, Snep, Slepnier, and he, he, he ties off the, uh, the other two horses, um, and to the gold, to the, to the, to the cart, and, uh, the go, the, the horses just don't want to move. They're like, fuck that, I'm not going anywhere, and, and Snep, Slepnier was like, don't, don't let him, you know, she's like, brr, brr, brr. and she, she refuses to move too, Bruce is like, okay, fine, we'll leave the horses, leave the gold, they should be fine here, it's out of the way, uh, we'll just go back, or we'll just hang out, and so, he goes by the road because he knows that n nobody, he can see from all directions. He's going to just hang out, you know, and, and, and wait for these, these, these horses and, you know, to get ready to go. You know, cause they're, they're eating They're you know, horses need time to, to recuperate. And, uh, Bruce is astute to that. And he knows that these two horses have had a hard way to go. So he's thinking how, I'm gonna get this gold back to the village, so they they, they can figure all this out, and uh, you know. Later, in the distance, he hears just a lot of rumbling going on, you know, and men yelling and, and and people yelling, and he's like, oh shit! And sure enough, down the road, he sees a lot of people on horses. You know, galloping, and they 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 come across the, and it's 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 Gunner, the the Gunner family and Himdal family, and and all the villagers, and everybody's on horses, and 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 they're following, and they're 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 not galloping or anything, but it's it's a lot of people, and they're they they get to the uh they they find the two horses dead or the one horse, and the other horse, and they're like oh, you know what happened here. You know, they, they, they go on by and they, they see the two dead bodies and uh, old man Gunner's like, those are my sons. Get my sons. Get my sons out of the dirt. Get my sons off the road. Take them back. We'll, we'll, we'll have a proper proper funeral. And he looks at Himdala and says, this is your fault. This is your fault. And Himdala is he's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I know what's up. Yeah, the gig is up. Yeah, whatever. Right now, Hemdal is just trying to get the fuck out of there. He's just trying to get the gold and, and figure this out and and get out of there because things are not good. So, and the villagers are right behind everybody, you know, and they're they're rabble, rabble, rabble. They're just talking amongst themselves and talking about killing all of all of Hemdal and his men, and you know they've got bows and arrows and you know elves bows and arrows. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so. But they're just, you know, regular folk. Uh, but them plus old man Gunner's sons, more than a match for him, Don, and, and his sons. So they get on down the road and they see the horses and they, and Bruce sees them. And he's like, hey, you know, waving. Sure enough, they see, they see Bruce and they get up on it and 
Bruce is like there's horses over there by the uh, by the by the brook. Those are the two horses left, and uh, I have Slip Slipniera with me. Uh, she refuses to go. The gold is right over there under that outcropping with some guy that's dead. He's missing a hand. And Hemdala is just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His sons are starting to put it together too, and they're starting to muddle and talk to each other. That's Sculpty. Sculpty did this? Wow. Sculpty. Sculpty. Yeah. The deceitful one. Yeah. Freaking Arger. <laughs> but, uh, the villagers and, and everybody walk up and, and, uh, they smell it. Oh, they smell it. They smell it. And they see they, uh, they see that, that, that Sculpty is dead and he's holding the gold and they, they smell this awful stench. And, uh, you know, they're like, how are we going to get this cursed gold back? You know, how, how are we going to get it back? You know, it's cursed. It's whoever takes possession of this gold dies. You know, he's like, and Bruce is like, yeah, but he's already took possession of the gold, so he's dead. Uh, I don't know. I, somebody needs to take possession of the gold, and, and or you can just let it sit there. Uh, but or you can get the seether, and uh, she can lift the lift the curse if she can. So <laughs> there. Miles away from from the village, deep into the wilderness, and uh, they they're, they're trying to figure out how to get this, what to do with the curse gold, uh, and they decide that they're going to hook up the trailer, hook up the buggy to the uh, to some horses and take it back. Hemdal and his, 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 his sons are going to ride off into the sunset with nothing but their dead, their dead sculpty. All the gold just laying on the ground, you know. Uh, and uh, Bruce is like, well, oh, okay. <laughs> so they all go back, all go back to the village. Hemdal and his sons run off and off into the wilderness to deal with deal with their their deceit. Bruce goes back to the village or back to the tavern and has a nice long bath. <laughs> Drinks some warm milk and takes a nap. Uh, so the gold cow is 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 safe for now. Thus concludes chapter four. <laughs>